Kansas City. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome to the neighborhood. So here I am in beautiful Italy. I made it down all the way to the heel of the boot to a region called Puglia. And I'm currently in a small fishing village called Peschice. And I've really been enjoying purchasing the local produce and trying to cook. So today I'm going to show you how to prepare a Roman style artichoke straight from the Jewish ghetto. This recipe is gonna be gangsta. Okay, before we get started, I'm gonna run down this ingredient list for you. We need fresh minta, mm. parsley, also, mm, extra virgin olive oil. This olive oil actually comes from an olive grove near here that belongs to my Airbnb host. Grazie, Raffaella. Te amo mucho. Salt, pepper, avi artichoke. I'm going to use three for my greedy self. Garlic. This is a uh, cheese, porcino romano, or something to that extent. Grate it up. Finally, breadcrumbs. I know this is not a crumb, but I'm going to make it into a crumb. Ciao, everybody. We're back. As you can see, I've been working very hard in the kitchen, chop, chop, chopping up these ingredients and creating a, like a mixture, a little mixture, you see? Make sure you see that. So this is the parsley, the mint, two tablespoons of each, the bread crumbs. The way I created the bread crumbs was I took this big ass loaf of bread and I grated it through a cheese grater. I didn't know what else to do, but that's what I did and it turned out pretty cool. I mean, obviously you can go to the store and buy your own bread crumbs, but a girl's on a budget, so. Um, also in here is the salt, the pepper, the garlic uh, minced up, chopped up really, really fine. And that's it. Oh yeah, I also did a little sprinkling of olive oil. So here's what we got. And this is going to be our stuffing that goes into the artichoke to give it that extra special Italian kiss, you know? Okay. And next we are going to get at this artichoke. So get a paring knife ready and let's get down to business. Now is the moment of truth. We are going to prepare our artichoke. And okay, so we start with the choke. Okay, Benny. Then we are going to cut off the stem. Boom, start taking off these leaves. It should go from a very green color to a very light color. If, yeah, sure, yes. All right, yeah, it's getting a little lighter, CCC. Bene, bene, bene. I think we are in a good, oh hell, we'll do one more layer. And now all the green is gone, see? So we've got this little anorexic artichoke. Artichoke, you really need to eat. Next up is to cut off this top part, the, the, the sharp part, just get rid of it. Great. So we've got this beautiful looking artichoke inside. Next up, we're gonna take a paring knife and we're gonna get rid of the green on the perimeter. Oh la la. Mamma mia, green is not good. Take your time, don't hurt yourself. First time you, first time me. Okay, the next part of this process is to pause and look at Gianni's video. I'll be right back. Okay, I think we're in good shape. Uh, the artichoke is looking a little weird, but I think it's just because it's oxidizing. No say. But now we're going to take out the heart of the artichoke with a spoon because that's where the thistles are. And the thistles are definitely no bono. So I got to stand up for this one. You can get a nice view of my chest. 
You like it, you like it. Oh, look, the thistles are coming right out. Benny! Benny! We did it. Hi! All right, so you get the idea? This is what we're going for. I'm going to clean it up a little bit, but, uh, you know, follow this technique. Make the process your own. I've got two more babies to go. And then I have a little baby right here. I don't know what to do with this little baby. I'm sorry, little baby. I just kiss you and we see you later. Ah! I separate you from your mother. Uh, okay, yes. Yeah, so work on your artichoke and we'll come back together for next steps. Okay, so since preparing that artichoke was quite literally the hardest thing I've ever done, we're going to break and pop this lovely bottle of sparkly Chardonnay. And I'm not even gonna rip off the label first. I'm just gonna dig right in. Woo! Please don't burst. Yeehaw, yeehaw, ah, that was easy. Salute. Fuck, I think this is the wrong bottle. So this was the bottle I meant to open. Oh fuck. I really hate these kind of corks. I really hate them. All right, everybody just stand back. Oh my God. Oh. terrifying I need a ouch god Ugh. ouch god somebody help me okay okay almost there I need a break Whew. ouch Scared for nothing. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Okay, we're back. Now we're ready to get down to business. We've got our artichokes, okay? We did the best we could for being first timers. I know it looks a little brown, but I don't care. I'm not gonna let that deter me. I think it's just oxidation. So next time, have a lemon on hand and rub it down like a baby's bottom to avoid it turning brown. But we're gonna keep going. So we've got our stems, we've got our artichokes, and we've got our stuffing. Remember this guy? Which is actually smelling so good. So now it's the easy part, fun part. We just take our little artichoke and we have a little hole we created and we stuff the artichoke. See, just fill the hole. Oh gosh, that was traumatizing. Fill in the rest of them. Como? like this boop, 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 boop. so keep stuffing away and our next steps are just around the corner okay ciao we're back now we're in the kitchen our next step is to take a small pot filled with water um because we're going to steam our artichokes okay so go ahead and just plop them on in i know they're like the babies it's hard to let go of them are you guys gonna be okay? Are you guys okay? They're fine. So along with your water, you wanna go ahead and squeeze some lemon into there. Don't be shy, lemon is a good ting. Um, some salt. Okay, some olive oil. And by some I mean a lot. Okay, now we're gonna turn this baby on and allow this to come to a boil. Then you're going to turn down the heat and let it simmer. These artichokes should take about 10 minutes to soften up and you can tell if they're ready by sticking a fork in them and seeing if it's soft. So 10 minutes and we'll be right back. Almost there, we're almost doing it. 
Hello. Hello. We're gonna take a take a peek at our artichoke, which I think is looking fantastic. Check In it out. The that's my homeboy. Watch your back if you're gonna walk alone, boy. Cause everybody in the home is trying to get Ciao, rich. Guys. Reporting now from the beautiful balcony a la Rafaela with the completed artichoke. You see, you see? And I'm telling you, if it tastes as good as it smells, I'm gonna be very proud of my little self. So let's go ahead and take our first taste. Ooh, very tender. Big bite. Mm. It's official. I'm pleased. Congratulations on completing your first Roman style artichoke. Thank you for sharing this journey with me. Until next time, salute. Oh. Hey, little artichoke, what's up? Where's my mommy? Your mommy? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I'm your new mommy. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Relax. <laughs>